I have pulled it out of the bag for you guys. You guys are always good on at me to film a Zara haul because let's be honest, Zara for the most of us is like one of our favourite shops. And yeah, I took one for the team. I went and did a big splurge on Zara. I got not one, but two, wait for it, three massive boxes of Zara goodness. So yeah, I just picked out a load of stuff that was taking my fancy. I liked the look of. I mean, I don't think we will be keeping it all because I did spend a ton of money, but you know how it is with stores. It's always best to get it here, have a look, try it on, see how we would wear it, see if we will wear it, and then we can make our assessment. So yeah, I cannot wait to share with you what I have got from Zara. But before we do get on to the bulk of the video and the Zara haul today, this video has actually very kindly been sponsored by Abbott Leo, which you guys know by now i absolutely love abbott leon my go-to everyday watch is abbott leon although i don't have it on now because i'm going to be putting the watch that's in here on so abbott leon have very kindly sent me over for today's video one of their abbott leon hampers so abbott leon now actually offer these gorgeous hampers so they contain all abbott leon products i'm going to show you and run you through what is actually inside them but I don't know about you guys, but just look how expensive and amazing these look. They would make the most stunning Christmas present. So this is what they look like. It's just this gorgeous black box. It feels really expensive. It's got AL embossed into it in this sort of like rose gold metallic sort of text and then if we open the hamper as you can see there's all this sort of like tissue straw what actually is this called honestly i've been stood here for ages thinking what is this called but anyway as you can see and get the gist it's just stuffed with all of this to cover the gorgeous hamper gifts inside and then on the inside of the box as well it has from abbott leon with love again in the gorgeous sort of like rose gold metallic writing love the color scheme of the packaging too it looks really luxurious and yeah really high end now, i'm just going to put the box down for the moment because it is a little bit heavy and now i'm just going to simply run you through the hamper and show you what is inside but as i mentioned you can actually purchase these hampers on abbott leon website they do a variety of different hampers so i'm sure there'll be one to suit yourself okay so the first thing i have got inside the hamper is this gorgeous ivory rose gold moda handbag how freaking stunning is this as you can see it's got this gorgeous snake skin texture to it it's obviously not real snake skin guys it's faux snake skin but yeah it's just got this gorgeous snake skin texture to it it's got a rose gold handle which you can see it's such good quality like the quality of this is just insane and then as you can see guys i have my initials embossed lm and again a rose gold sort of color to match the handle yeah if you do want your initials personalized on the handbag you can by all means have that done and um, but yeah i just absolutely love this handbag it's just really stunning really gorgeous nice square handbag for every day and also you get an across body strap so if you are one of those people who likes to wear their handbag a little more across body than sort of like holding it you can totally just put this on there's a little place for you to put the straps on there i also just want to mention the quality of the inside of this handbag it's like faux suede and it just feels absolutely insane I can't honestly I'm just so blown away by the quality of it it's beautiful Not only that but I also just wanted to mention that it is made out of 100% vegan friendly leather so yeah absolutely love this the next thing i got inside my hand part from abbott leon was the gorgeous mayor ivory rose gold clutch this is what the clutch looks like this is absolutely stunning this would look so nice for an evening out and we've sort of got the faux snake print texture to the bag i've again got my initials boss just here lm and then again we've got this sort of hoop that allows you to hold it like that if you wanted to or you could simply drop it down like that and just clasp it like you would with a clutch bag this is honestly again i'm just so impressed by this it's just such a gorgeous nice square clutch bag like the perfect size just to fit like your phone bits of makeup and your purse in um it's got a zip as well which is really good and something great to know and also this which is just flapping down it's actually got a magnet there so when it flaps down it just really secures and um, so that's another great feature about this so inside the clutch you actually have a zip pocket on the side which is really nice so you can just store your money and stuff in there um, and then also there's like a phone pocket two little pockets there like one for your phone and one for whatever else like the handbag i showed you previous there is also a strap which allows you to wear this across body if that's how you'd like to wear it so yeah it's really great that both the handbags provide you with like two different ways of wearing and using the handbag and also they do do these handbags in different color variations okay so the next thing i got in the hamper was obviously an abbott leon watch so this is what the packaging looks like of the watch 
just this gorgeous white packaging again with AL on as you can see the bottom it's also got like rose gold here and then if we just pull this now this watch is called the blush Stella 40 in rose gold and silver but yeah this is what the watch itself looks like so as I mentioned it's a combination of rose gold and silver it is so so stunning and I feel like this gives you the best of both worlds so if you are someone that is only gnawing over a rose gold or a silver watch then this obviously combines both of those so you could either wear it with silver jewellery or you could wear it with rose gold jewelry so yeah this is what it looks like on the hand like how stunning is that so the strap is actually rose gold but then we've got like silver hardware on it so it's like a silver rim around the edge and also silver on the face of the watch these watches are fully adjustable as well so just want to let you know that and then to make the watch that little bit more special and personalized you also get an engraving bar for your watch so again i've had my initials lm engraved on this I'm just going to focus that so you can see can you see that it's quite hard to show you because of the lighting but yeah i've just got lm engraved on that and then yeah as you can see my watch is now fully engraved like how cute is that so yeah that's all added on it isn't going to fall off and yeah just add a little customization to a watch okay so the next thing i have got in my hamper is a gorgeous little bracelet to go alongside my watch and again i just want to mention how lovely the packaging is everything just looks so high end and really expensive rose gold bottom white top and if we just open it up we have got a gorgeous bracelet inside so i'm just going to show you the bracelet so this is called the silver personalized chain bracelet as you can see it's gorgeous chain around so again it's actually got lm engraved on it i don't know how well you can see that but honestly this just looks so so stunning and then the last thing i have got in my hamper is another item of jewelry from abbott leon and it is this gorgeous silver zigzag bangle how beautiful is that again it's so so pretty so i'm gonna put this the other side of my watch that is how it looks on my wrist and my watch is probably gonna look upside down to you guys but yeah how stunning does that look beautiful watch an engraved beaded bracelet and the zigzag silver bangle but yeah that is everything that you get inside of the hamper and like i said there are loads of different variations of these hampers and all different ones that are put together on avid leon's website so yeah definitely check that out like i said i will leave all the links in the description bar below okay so moving on to what you are all here for which of course is the zara haul so i'm gonna get straight stuck in and the first thing i picked up was this gorgeous little fluffy jumper how cute is this so i got this in a size small this was 17.99 and just this gorgeous white fluffy jumper so as you can just see up close it's just like what is this actually called it's like eyelash fluff no i could actually be making up that i actually thought this was not too badly priced for zara 17.99 quite a reasonable price just a simple like i said white fluffy jumper and this would just look really stunning simply styled with just a faux leather pair of trousers so yeah i just wanted a few more sort of like jumper basics so i picked up that then also picked it up in the black as well because i just really liked it and i saw they had it in black you guys know the drill if i like something i need it in every color so yeah i got the black as well and again i got this in a size small it feels so incredibly soft like it really does feel a beautiful quality so yeah i got that one too so the next thing i picked up was a good old jumper now this was 29.99 and it is something a little bit different like it's really sort of caught my eye because it just had different it is i really like the look of it on the website so it is this black sort of turtleneck ribbed jumper but then it has these faux fur panels it almost looks like you're wearing a gilet so it's long sleeve i got this in a size small so it's a little oversized i feel I don't know how it is going to be actually it may be oversized but i'm not too sure but yeah i just thought this was a little bit different because of the faux fur panels that, as you can see just run parallel down the jumper it looks quite like a boxy shape as well which i really like and i also just like the turtleneck i'm not one for like full-on rolex i actually prefer turtlenecks so yeah this is 29.99 so i didn't think that was too badly priced okay so within this haul i actually picked out two faux leather pairs of trousers because i'm desperate need for a new faux leather 
your pair of trousers. You guys will know that I absolutely wear to death my quiz clue in faux leather trousers. So I it was about time I invested in a few more different pairs because let's be honest, there's so many different styles and it's nice to have a few different styles of faux leather trousers seeing as it is the season for them. So I thought I'd test out some Zara ones. So the first ones I picked up were 19.99. I got them in a size small because as we all know, with PU and this faux leather fabric, there is never much give. So I always like to up size. And yeah, like I said, I got them in a size small and these were 19.99 which I thought was really really reasonable and they're the Zara Basics trousers so this is what they look like they're just a gorgeous faux leather pair of trousers just a straight leg they actually feel really good quality like they honestly feel like they could be leather they are beautiful I'm so impressed with them they've got an elasticated waist as well having got pockets which sometimes annoys me but these to me are more like a legging pair of faux leather trousers I really like as well the line running down the middle of them that looks really nice so yeah I got those god I feel like my hair looks so greasy guys I've been on the go all day and I keep touching it and do you know when you keep touching your hair? It's like the worst thing you can do because it just gets greasier and greasier. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was another pair of black trousers. These aren't faux leather. These just look really comfortable. And I just saw them. I think they're quite nicely styled up as well. I just thought, do you know what I could do with a nice comfy pair of trousers? So they are these trousers with this gorgeous sort of like paper bag waist, I'm going to say. Um, really nice sort of waistline to it. It also has this tie waist detail so it allows you to cinch you in so that's going to look really nice on. It's got pockets which you guys know I just absolutely love and yeah it just goes down into a straight leg with a curved hem. These are just something a little bit different. They're like them sort of like casual relaxed trousers um, but yeah I just thought these styled up could look really nice. They're from the TRF range. They were only $19.99 and I got them in an extra small. I really like those. I think these could really work okay so the next thing i picked up i'm not gonna lie a little bit different for me a little bit out of my comfort zone but you guys know the drill by now i like to pick up things that i wouldn't never normally pick up and just see if they work so i got these faux leather pair of wide leg trousers this is what they look like oh my gosh they do look a bit big what size did i get so i got these in a size extra small again they're from the trf range these are 29.99 which i didn't think was badly priced at all and then as you can see they just got like the inverted stitching so just the white stitching all across the trousers these again feel really good quality they feel absolutely beautiful and i just thought there was a little bit of something different you know because like i said i love faux leather trousers in the autumn winter months but i always wear sort of like a straight tight fitting trouser and the thing is i actually do really like wide legs so i thought why not try a faux leather pair of trousers in a wide leg let's see how it looks it could look absolutely shocking it could look actually really nice honestly you guys are not even ready for these boots i can't believe how amazing these look and they wasn't even that expensive so the next thing i picked up with these gorgeous sort of like biker boots god they look long like what size did i get them in pretty sure i did get them in a size five so yeah they're these gorgeous black boots oh, i can't get over how nice these look i'm just so obsessed with these i was thinking when i was ordering these right i'm gonna get them but i probably may return them because i have loads of boots that are similar but no, I feel like these are like nothing like I've got in my wardrobe. I'm going to have to keep them. So yeah, they're just these gorgeous pair of flat black boots. They've got a gorgeous sort of like cleated sole. They've got studding around this area, which I really like. And I also like that on the back of the shoe just here, they've got this sort of like faux croc leather bit. Does that make sense? I just think these are absolutely stunning. And I was on the search for like another pair of boots. Do you know they're a little bit longer? Because I've got a pair of boots that are similar to this, but they're a little bit shorter. And these are actually a little bit longer. So I'll go up my leg a little bit more, which is actually what I really wanted. I can't believe these were 39 99 They feel so high end. They feel so expensive. And for Zara as well, you know what the prices are like. I could have quite imagined them to be like £80 or something. But yeah absolute bargain because these feel such good quality so i love those the next thing i picked up from zara was the other pair of faux leather trousers that i told you that i was picking up and this time these are from the trf range again and they're just a high rise pair of faux leather trousers I've got quite a shiny finish to them they feel incredibly thick which i really like because they feel like a really good quality and oh they're super soft inside as well they feel beautiful. What I liked about these is they have, let me just get this off. They have this little button here, which I thought was a really nice detailing, as you can see. And they also have pockets, 
well they're not real pockets they're faux pockets but i mean it gives the same effect so who cares it also has a belt strap and it also has sort of like faux pockets on the back too i really like these they're skinny they're high waist i mean if they don't fit me i'll be absolutely gutted but yeah these feel incredible and i can't believe that they're already 19.99 so the final thing i picked up in box number one was a good old belt bag now you guys know that i am actually a lover of belt bags they're belt bags not bum bags because i just don't like the word bum bag but yeah this is the one i picked up i just really liked this i thought it looked really classy on the website it is surprisingly a little bit bigger than what i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be a little bit smaller i must admit but yeah i just wanted a new one because i wear my pretty little thing one surprisingly a lot this is 19.99 it's really good quality again it is zara i mean i feel like everything on zara is always really good quality but yeah it's just got loads of gorgeous studding detail on and eyelets here and then if you open it it has all magnets here actually so when you shut it it's sort of like really does shut um yeah it's again beautiful inside a lot of room and well i say a lot of room you probably could only fit your phone and some money in there but yeah i just really like the style of this one so i got that okay so the next thing i picked up from zara was actually more of an evening attire i never really go for evening attire on zara i always feel like i buy a lot of daytime stuff but this just really caught my eye and I don't know what it is with blue at the moment, but I seem to really be drawn to it. So I picked up this gorgeous blue coordinate set. So to begin with, I'm just going to show you the blazer. So it's this gorgeous blue blazer. And then it's just got one sort of button that does up here to do the blazer shut. It's got shoulder padding. This is just absolutely stunning. It's also got buttons on the sleeve as well, which I feel like it makes it look a little bit more expensive. This is actually from the Zara Basic range. And how much was it? It was only $29.99. I think it's a really good price point for a blazer of this quality i got it in a size eight and yeah i just really like the color of it i don't own anything like this in my wardrobe and i just wanted something to go out in that was just a little bit different it just had a really nice pop of color so yeah i got the blazer and then of course i got the matching trousers to go with it so the matching trousers were only 19.99 i got these in a six but yeah just simply just a matching pair sort of like suit trousers to go with them and just sort of a straight leg they're from a zara basic range and yeah i love those the next thing I picked up from Zara was another coordinate, and this is actually something that's fairly new in on Zara, I believe. And it is this white ribbed Zara coord. So let me just show you the top first. It's just a turtle neck white ribbed top. It's a really beautiful soft fabric, and then it just has all these gorgeous like chunky buttons on the sleeve, which I just really like. I think it's a really nice detailing. This was $19.99. It is a size small, so maybe a little big but i feel like it's that sort of fabric that's quite fitted um so yeah that is the top and then to go with it is these matching trousers now i didn't actually realize the trousers were a wide leg why didn't i think that i don't know i'm a bit confused but anyway these wide leg ribbed trousers again with the same sort of detailing on the bottom of them these are 25.99 so the whole coordinate was less than 50 pound and again i got these in a small i'm not too sure how these will fit because i sometimes find with zara the smalls are like really big on me so yeah let's just try them on and i'll show you what they look like okay so moving on to the last box of zara goodness this is the biggest box but it is because there is a few coats in here but i would get a few coats to try and test because i've never actually purchased a zara coat i don't think is that true I think it actually might be true. So anyway, I wanted to grab a couple and see what they were about. So the first one I picked up was this gorgeous sort of like, I don't know, it's not faux fur and it's not teddy. It's sort of just like this, I'm going to say shaggy again. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? It's this gorgeous brown coat. So this is a shorter coat. Um, just because I've got so many sort of like maxi or midi length coats, I really wanted just like a shorter one. And I really liked this. This was $49.99, which I didn't think was badly priced. I got this in a size extra small. And I've been really enjoying brown at the moment so yeah i picked this up i think this will look really nice with faux leather trousers i really like as well they've got pockets on the front i really like that about this and yeah it feels beautiful it's just in such a nice like soft fluffy fabric so yeah i picked up that one to begin with next coat is definitely the coat of dreams i've been umming and ahhing over this for the longest time ever they finally had my size in it so i thought i'd cave in and get it so it is this gorgeous teddy coat so it is in this gorgeous beige color this was slightly expensive it was 89.99 i mean not the most overpriced coat but yeah it was a little bit expensive i got this in a size extra small and it is just this gorgeous teddy coat i mean how stunning i do have a few already but none 
isn't exactly like this so i think we can justify it i really like the chunky black buttons on this and also the side pockets i just think it's a really nice sort of like stiff coat and i feel like it looks very expensive as well yeah i just really like this i think i need it in my life so yeah i love that next thing i picked up from zara was a big chunky oversized jumper dress i'm gonna say the jumper dress i didn't actually know what it was described as on the website uh, but anyway i saw someone else have this in one of their zara hauls and they was wearing it as a dress so yeah i picked it up but yeah as you can see it's just this gorgeous knit jumper dress it's got a really sort of big neck i'm not sure how that's going to go down um, but yeah, it's definitely a roll neck, which you guys know I'm not overly keen about. I got this in a size small. It was $39.99. The thickness of this is amazing. I really want to comment on that because it is a really thick knit. It's definitely going to keep you super warm. And although I sort of got like an oversized um white cream jumper dress i've not got one as thick as this i feel like this is such better quality than the one i've got so yeah i really like that okay the next thing i picked up was another jumper big chunky jumper i wanted to like stock up because it's getting absolutely freezing outside now this one was very pricey for a jumper so i'm not too sure at the moment if i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna try it on and see how much i love it but if i don't love it it will be going back and it is this again oversized chunky brown jumper again it's got a roll neck which i'm not really there for but we'll see uh, but yeah i love this again just really thick nice oversized brown jumper not a lot to say really easy to style just whack a pair of fade over trousers on nice boots across the body bag job done uh, but yeah it was 49.99 for this so it definitely wasn't cheap okay so the last thing i picked up is actually a cardigan but i'm going to wear it and style it as a jumper i think and it is this gorgeous white knit cardigan again i'm really loving these oversized like black buttons everywhere at the moment i feel like they've been on quite a few things in this all and yeah the cardigan just runs down the center with these big chunky buttons are they black or brown I'm really struggling to see in this light. There's so much going on. This is $39.99. So again, by no means cheap. But I don't think it's too badly priced because the quality is insane. It is a really chunky, thick cardigan. But yeah, this with like a pair of jeans, I think it will look so, so stunning. So yeah, I really, really like that. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this Zara haul. I really, really hope you have enjoyed it. And also, I really hope you enjoyed my little Abbott Leon unboxing at the beginning of this video. Definitely make sure you go and check them out. As always, make sure you subscribe before you go and give this video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And yeah, I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.